dude. Michael's okay. He's alive. Uh. <laughs> oh, John, no. He's dead. Fucking hell, John's dead. I'll be back. I'll be back. My God, dude, I can't believe that shit. John is fucking dead. <laughs> Fuck, man. Fuck, man. <sighs> oh, stop. You'll never know the curse of this family. We're done with them, John. I'm so fucking upset right now. John looking fucking or er, Arthur looking fresh. Sorry, I got John on the fucking mind. God damn it. The word's been written. It says Luca. Damn straight. He is the oldest brother. Who put this bullet into his fucking head? Absolutely, and I don't want to hear shit from Linda about it. And riots when the weather gets warm and the Bolsheviks plant the Bolsheviks I forgot about that revolution completely. Peace. Shut up, Finn. Why can't I say peace? <laughs> Arthur. What say? Finn. Sit at the table. <laughs> we died together. Once before. As Jeremiah said, we should sing in the bleak midwinter. But we were spared. The enemy never came. And we all agreed that everything after that was extra. <laughs> and when our time came, we'd all remember. You remember that God spared you. But what did you do with that extra time that he gave you, eh, Thomas? Stop it, Polly. Oh my god, is that little finger? Oh my god! Wow. Absolutely. Now it's begun. Oh. This season's gonna be fucking it's fire. Cause this is how it's gonna be. Polly! Come on, you guys agreed on a truce. I'm going home. Bye. Oh yeah? Arms 57 watery line. You go there. Lock the doors. You wait for me. Okay, yeah. Bye, bitch. Fuck out of here. <laughs> That's fucking cool. Mm -mm. Absolute best for Michael. You fucking dweebs. Who should him go? No, you're not. Just me and you. Stray. Now I've been to the Cunard office. Australia is not fucking real. But there's no Italians in Australia. I don't think there are. Factories come back to work. Forget the fucking factories. Is there any word of them going out on strike? Go to Australia. Just be you. Ah. Damn. If it's heads, Abby here takes all of this. And if it's tails, I fuck your daughter, Mr. Gold. <laughs> I hope he has one of those fucking Harvey Dent uh, <laughs> coins. Daughters, tails on both sides. And, uh, Esmeralda is the oldest and also the prettiest. As well as uh, to make her part of the deal, spin against the yard. Absolutely. Please don't believe this is a joke. Point to us is sacred. <laughs> 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 Absolutely. 
Mm, checking it. Please don't again disrespect my friends or the value property. It was Christmas. Let's have it now. I'm surprised. They said he's a fucking savage that he wouldn't just like kind of wager his daughter like that. Very surprising. They don't want that bastard up around the gold, putting it around that we live like Diddy guys. <laughs> I want him to see that we live proper, that we eat proper, in the proper way. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> I get the potatoes myself. <laughs> I love Johnny Dogs. Is when you're dead already, you're free. Okay. Don't use your weakness. Don't take any new men on in the factories unless you know their families. <laughs> Ask him what he really wants. Damn straight. Damn, Polly's so fucking awesome. I love her character so much. Bonnie, take off your shirt. He was quick to I fucking do that. I want you to help my son achieve his ambition. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> you tell Tommy. I think you'll understand. Hopefully she tells Tommy. Hello, Curly. I'm here to collect Mr. Shelby's horse. I'm... Yeah, they want to kill us all. But we got guns and grenades and, and Polly's back, so it's going to be okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'll get the horse. Absolutely, Curly. Curly's so optimistic. That's great. God, they gotta give him one of these shots every fucking episode. Jesus. But the sparks are flying. How are they gonna cheat to make sure that Bonnie wins? Bonnie may not have to cheat. Oh! Oh, damn! Oh, damn! Fuck me. It's all knockouts against Romney Fox. That's why they won't let us in the fairs no more. He keeps winning. I can fight to fucking free and knock it out, Mr. Shaw. I like I like him too. I'll get him to the Irish boys in Digbeth. I can teach him. Damn. R.I.P. Digbeth, kid. A hat? Pinky blonde and ass, son. Wow. This totally won't backfire. You want trouble? Nah. Mr. Shelby. Oh no. Pass from Paris. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Better hide that fucking black hand tattoo. <laughs> That's where I'm from. <laughs> I heard you dress well, Mr. Shelby. Now I see. Not so well as me. <laughs> Yikes. And now you should know. <laughs> that during the trouble you had, we found your gun. Wow. And unloaded it. <laughs> One with his name on it. Right? Probably great. Oh, okay. I see. John Shelby. <laughs> oh, holy shit. <sighs> I like this. Oh. <laughs> Oh. It's like with Grace, Arthur. They're just gone. Just fucking gone. All right, man. Hell of an episode. The season's starting out pretty good so far. I'm really enjoying what I'm seeing. Started out immediately confirming what I had feared. Not completely what I had feared because at least Michael survived. Which makes sense. It's not like they can kill off two main 
uh, Shelby's right out the gate. But John is fucking dead. It was really sad. I was really upset to watch that. Them seeing his body with Esme coming in and the funeral. Like, that was all really fucking tough to watch. Especially because I, I, liked, I liked John so fucking much. He was... He was such a... He was a good character, man. Sucks to see what happened to him. We, we met Aberama Gold. Littlefinger, Peter Baelish. I don't actually remember the IRL actor's name, but it's Littlefinger or the the guy from Dark Knight Rises who's in the plane at the very beginning. I don't actually remember his name either. Damn, that's nuts. So this show has had uh, Tom Hardy, Killian Murphy, and Peter Baelish. They are all three in Dark Knight Rises. That's interesting. When's Christian Bale making his debut? I'm very invested in this shit, this this season specifically so far, this this war with the Changretas, this vendetta. I'm very invested. I'm very fucking, like, I'm into this. I'm very interested to see where this goes. This could go so many ways. And that was a really good scene there at the end where he met Luca. Luca seems like a pretty interesting villain. He was pretty, uh, he was a pretty scary fucking individual. So um, I'm I'm actually really excited to see more of his character going forward. This is going to be a fucking great season. I'm so excited. I wonder... I can't imagine that we'll get another big death this season. But I feel like they have to, right? With with the stakes that Luca just... like the, With everything Luca said, I feel like we have to see more death on Tommy's side. God, I hope... I hope Polly makes it out, though. I hope... Damn it, I want everybody to make it out. Take Linda. That's fine. As I mean, I like Esme. I, I understand Esme's frustrations. So I don't want to say take Esme. That's kind of fucked up. But they're not after Esme, so. And I like Ada. God damn it. There's no one I want them to take. Fuck. I guess we'll just have to fucking wait and find out, man. So. <sighs> We're in for a ride this season.